wait is over and the contract has finally been signed. We're just minutes away from witnessing his debut. How will he fare? A big night at one of the most famous venues in world football. We're here at the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner, Stuart Robson. And there are few more enjoyable days on the football calendar than opening day in Serie A. It's Inter, and they take on Cagliari. Well, the atmosphere is incredible inside the stadium, Derek. There's a real sense of optimism amongst the fans about the new season and what it might bring. It's been a long wait, but hopefully we get a great game to kick their campaigns off. Inter's lineup is as follows. Samir Handanovic begins between the posts. Milan Skriniar plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. Oh, he's a goal here, Derek. There it is, and just the ideal start. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. And they need to get tighter. Showing considerable guile. And delivered into the box. Corner coming up. And there's the delivery. And a goal here! Accuracy with the header. Just what they needed. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So 2-0 now. A fine reading of the situation. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Well, a foul, but no yellow card at this early stage in the opinion of the referee. Well, he might just be lucky. It's so early on. He'll have to be careful now. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from it. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? We're going to see the first yellow card of the game. The referee not standing on ceremony. Well, he's under pressure now. It's a long time to be on a booking. Taking care of business defensively here. Making progress. Opportunity not to be. And still chasing this game. Well, that was the chance to get back into this. As it is, they're going to struggle now.
Barella. Well, he's featured on the back pages of quite a few newspapers in recent days, playing against his old club, and I wonder what's going through his mind, Stuart. Well, he shouldn't approach this differently to any other game. He's just got to forget the crowd and go out and play. Now, failure to keep the ball by the Nerazzurri. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. Getting forward. And a goal to increase their advantage to three. Can they be stopped? Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. Martinez, he's in behind. Well, a badly timed run, just a fraction offside. Nicely timed tackle. Oh, great attacking play. Dicing with a bit of danger here. Well, the tackle, vivacious from Varan. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. It is a decent-looking attack here. Played towards the near post. It comes to nothing in the end. Good control under pressure. And more than a bit hopeful. <laughs> News of a goal in the Torino game. Let's get the details from Alex. Yeah, it's a goal for Milan after a well-worked move. He got himself on the end of a cross with a beautiful header. They're the first on the score sheet here with 13 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Could be troublesome. And he's broken free. Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But he's expecting to score from that range. But they all count. A lopsided contest, 4-0. Might really be able to trouble them here. Magnificent defending. Can he take advantage? Well, given the position he found himself in, he really should be testing the keeper. Superb opportunity squandered.
Well, they've given him too much space. Is it going to be? Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of that performance. Well, here it is. 1v1 against the keeper, and the outcome was never really in doubt. He never looked like missing that. My goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Chance to finish. In it goes. But wait a minute. That will not count. Well, that was tight. But he was just offside. It was a good finish, though. Losing possession. Barella. Ricardo. Well, he keeps going. Spectacular save. Top-class goalkeeping. Delivering it. Well, not cleared away completely. Martinez. Oh, a vital interception. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. On the last touch off the defender. So a corner coming up. Playing it in. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. And giving the ball away. bad challenge and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next and yellow it is a booking yeah he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card Well time tackle. Really a very poor ball. Oh, he's through here. Can they slot it home? And that's the hat trick. Tearing apart this defense time and again. They simply can't handle it. 
Well, when you look at this again, there's two things wrong defensively about this. First of all, the goalkeeper should not be parrying it into a dangerous area, and the defenders have to be sharper to get to the knockdown. It's not good defending all round. Well, that's an out and out pasting. 6 0. That is a wonderful challenge, and they've kept the ball to boot. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. But he's decided that no advantage was forthcoming, really, and so it's a free kick. Well, Leicester fans have been wondering, would the deal go through? It is now official. They've got their man, Stuart. Well, at about £65 million, it's a big fee. But he's a fantastic talent who will thrive in his new environment and prove what a top player he really is. And the right place to cut out the pass. Well, Inter have certainly controlled the flow of the game. And that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. He's in behind. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Leonardo Pavoletti. An effective challenge. Very quick thinking there. And breaking at pace with Menace. Oh, that's a really good run. Is it going to be a goal? We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace and transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. And possession given away. Martinez. Intelligent run it is from Vidal. Oh, incredible save. And he snuffed out any sign of danger. On well, a crucial intervention inside the box. And it crossed the byline. A goal kick as a result. More football from Serie A coming up here on EA TV. It's Inter against Torino. Well, he likes to run at them, but really sticking to the task defensively. couldn't keep the ball couldn't keep it went in strongly decisively this might be ideal for the counter they need to get bodies back. But they dealt with the threat posed. A real opening now. Well, the chance looked to be on, but found himself offside.
and no luck keeping possession. Martinez. Oh, what an opportunity. Oh, he squandered the chance. And he was clean through as well. Once again, couldn't keep hold of it. Good effort here. And a decent save. Full credit. Who can he pick out? Danger averted. again failed to keep hold of it the referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace Just look at this again. What a great strike it is. He gets so much movement on the ball, yet he does it with such control. So difficult for a keeper to know where it's going. Right, a scoring update for you from the Torino game. Who has found the net? Alex Scott will tell us. Yeah, another goal for Milan. They've pulled ahead by two with 37 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. Well, Turo Vidal. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Under pressure here. Really good high press. Looks as though he's alone in the centre. Martinez. What a crucial intervention inside the box. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. And a fine tackle. And there's the feed into the box. This could be dangerous if he's not careful. The high press was on. And the chance is on. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, he'd love to have that delivery back. Perisic. And offside. Well, close one.
Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Brozovic. Vidal. Well, they've given him too much space. It should be. And in. Oh, yes. Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. You've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. Making progress. And a fine stop. Delivering it. And the goalkeeper doing what he's paid to do. Not a chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, they haven't overcome all the difficulties. And problem solved for now. Getting forward. But they took care of the situation defensively. Martinez. He's lost it. Martinez. He's protecting it effectively. Went in strongly, decisively. Arturo Vidal. And just over the bar. Really good effort. to the advanced position but ultimately up a cul-de-sac room to maneuver on the wing and space to cross it not a poor ball and easy for the keeper physically strong and secure on the ball Spot on with that tackle. Ricardo in position here to protect the ball. Oh, great attacking play. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. Perfect technique, but no reward, sadly, for him. Yeah, he's hit it really well, but I think he knew it was always going past the post. He's unlucky, though. Yeah. 
Well, he's allowed his opponent to get past him. Really getting stuck in. Moving forward effectively. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Pavoletti. Not a fantastic piece of defending, was it? Somehow kept out by Handanovic. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Insufficient accuracy as regards the corner. That is that for the first half here. Another well, eyeing that final pass you just feel. And a goal to increase. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. So the second half commences here. Well, it was one-way traffic in the first half. They're going to need all their time if they have designs on a comeback. Nicely timed tackle. He continues his run. There it is! A fantastic goal, and no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. And we're underway again. This game very much over as a contest. Well timed tackle. Jekko. But really sticking to the task defensively. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Will they profit from this situation? Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, danger here as he runs at them. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And the keeper was finally able to claim it. Well, what a great piece of goalkeeping. Firstly the save, and then the recovery. Brilliant from him. Not allowing... Oh, big chance! And a goal here! There it is! They've done it! Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. Don't
Cagliari con il numero 30 Leonardo Pavoletti making progress a real opening now can he find the net terrific save well that's a top class save he read it so well Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, you're not going to bamboozle the goalkeeper with a corner like that. Not much time to make up his mind. Right, I'm hearing in my ear, there's been a goal in the Torino game. That means we go to Alex Scott. Yep, it's a goal for Torino. It's... Oh, he's through here. And what a magical save it was. Let's see about the delivery. And the danger cleared. Arturo Vidal. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. And unfortunately, we did have to cut Alex off there. To clarify, Torino did score in that game. And that game is on a knife edge now, level at 2 2. A game that will certainly hold the interest of many in Serie A, live coming up on EA TV. It's Cagliari facing Sampdoria. Well, they no longer have the ball. Giving the ball away. And continues his run. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Can they take advantage of the situation? Vidal. Happy to take on the shot. Superb block. The high press was on, and the chance is on. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. Keep it. He's beaten his man. And there is the goal to make it a hat trick. Excellent in finishing. There for all to see. Give it away. Couldn't keep it. Well, they need to get tighter. Jekko, a goal! He's dispatched it. Luck to the sheer delight of the fans.
here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And the timing of the run is just as good. As for the finish, it was never in doubt. And a substitution in the offing. As they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. A super tackle and they've won possession. Oh, fancy footwork. And he's in. On his own with only the keeper to beat. But he's missed it, Stuart. Well, he went for power, but he didn't make the perfect connection. That's why he's missed the target there. Really closing him down. Spot on with that tackle. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw in. Thirty minutes left for play. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Now, the situation has changed in one of the other games I'm hearing. Let's go to Alex Scott. It's a goal for Napoli. It's now 1-0 with 61. It might be. Well, in the end, it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper, Stuart. Well, he has to do better there. That's a really poor finish. And unfortunately, we did have to cut Alex off there. For clarification, Napoli did score in that match. They now lead by one goal to nil. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. No nonsense clearance. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Pavoletti. And he's taken it away. La signora Tayana Alessandro è desiderato al box delle autorità. Ripeto, il signor Tayana. Well, someone has scored in one of the other games. Let's find out exactly who from Alex. Yeah, it's a goal for Sassuolo. They are losing 2-1 with 64 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. I'm not sure why the fans are so upset. I think the referee got that. Couldn't quite hang on. Well, nothing comes of it. Well, Derek, this has been a really good performance, as you can see. They've created numerous chances, they're winning the game comfortably, and they could go on and score more. This could get really embarrassing. Possession changing hands. Good technique displayed. But they dealt with the threat posed. Textbook closing down. And now they're on the attack. Oh, how did he get there? Handanovic with the save. And time for the change now. And he's fired over the corner. Fractionally over the top. A 
They're really pressing their opponents. Well, he's lost it. The cross is on. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle, and the referee has got to book him, I think. And yellow it is, a booking. Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. Well, they've given him too much space. But ultimately, up a cul-de-sac. Strokeman. Tremendous challenge. Twenty minutes to go in this one. Jekko. to deal with it that is not going to do well wide of the target Tidy in possession. Jekko. Able to skip past his man. And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. Well, as you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Well, it could be on for him here. But it was down to whether or not he could beat the keeper. And that question has been answered. Well, I'm all for players striking through the back of the ball with power. But he has to hit the target from there. Strong but fair tackle. Well, just over the crossbar. Excellent effort.
And the keeper not thinking it through. Making progress. And the keeper is delighted to see that sail well over the bar. Goal kick. So almost at full time and the home side very much in command. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Well, the result has never really been in doubt, has it? They've created so many chances with some brilliant attack in play. I think they've looked an outstanding team today. Perfect tackle. And he's in. He knew he had to make the tackle and did. Good physical play. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Leonardo Pavoletti. Now what can they do from here? But they dealt with the threat posed. And he's lost custody of the ball here. Terrific save. Well, that's a top-class save. He read it so well. Delivering it. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. That's how to rob them of possession. Could be threatening. Goalkeeper in charge of the situation. And over it comes. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. Ball lost by Inter. Razvan Marin. He's going forward well here. Vital intervention. And top notch as well as brave goalkeeping. Well, he comes off his line at just the right time. He read that brilliantly. And the poor touch didn't help them on the possession front. Well, couldn't keep it. See some progress with the ball at his feet. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Alexis Sanchez. And he might be through here. And the goal it is from Alexi Sanchez. Well, just look at this again. It's so hard to knock off the ball once he gets going. Of course the defending could be better, but that's a great individual goal. Time for a change then. And a 
as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. This attack looks highly promising, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Chalanolu, when you're on a yellow card, you've really got to tread oh so carefully. And it will be his last act of the day. He's off. Well, what was he thinking? It's a silly tackle, isn't it? Well, some pretty big news come on. Well, any goalkeeper would be disappointed if he didn't save that. High pressing at its best. And he's lost custody of the ball here. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Chalanolu. Can he put it in? Save, but still a chance. Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Can he finish? Really good block. Can they put it away? Oh, and he puts away the second chance. Goalkeeper error. Well, when you look at this again, there's two things wrong defensively about this. First of all, the goalkeeper should not be parrying it into a dangerous area, and the defenders have to be sharper to get to the knockdown. It's not good defending all round. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. But it is a yellow card for accumulation of offences. Well, it was only a matter of time. He's been on the edge for quite a while now. Strong play here to keep the ball, to wait for the support. Well, that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Takes the shot. Couldn't quite hang on. Can he open them up here? Well, full marks to him for giving it a try from that tight angle. Well, he took everybody by surprise there. That was a really decent attempt. An example of how to press. Well, strong play here. Excellent challenge.
It's a high level tackle. Brilliant. Well, the attack will peter out. Keeper's ball. Barella. How can he take them on and beat them? But they dealt with the threat posed. Counter attacking very much an option. Charanolu. And he's in. Can they cover up? Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. And here's Gaston Pereiro. Good tackle. Could be a chance to break here. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Good looking sequence. And unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. And making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Pereiro might really be able to trouble them here. Oh, in with a chance! Surely! Oh, a tremendous block. Opportunity it is. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, we're underway again, and this game was finished as a contest a long time ago. Real chance. Still alive. Danger averted for now. So the final whistle, the referee says that will be all for this game. And the big headline is Inter victorious. What did you think of their performance all told? Well, it's a good result to start the campaign. Always important to get off to a quick start. A few of them seemed a little leggy towards the end of the game, you have to say. But overall, it was a good performance and will give them confidence going into the next match. Well, couldn't keep it.